Greetings, how are y'all doing out there? I am Pastor Wilma Browder. This is First Church of Social Media. I would like to say seasons, greetings to everyone. I hope you all are about to have a wonderful, um, Merry Christmas. And this is Christmas Eve, and this is the season, the season of giving. Um, I have a great, great word for you all um, today. This is part two of the um, sermon from Sunday, which was called The Picture in a Picture. And uh, let's have a moment of prayer. Father God, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We so love you, Lord. We honor you, Father. We worship and praise your holy name, O oh God. God, right now we just want to say thank you, O oh God. Thank you for another year of Christmas, O oh God. Another season, O oh God. Another time, O oh Father, with our family, O oh Lord. Lord, right now, we just ask of you right now to remove all distractions around us, O oh God. We ask you right now to fill our atmosphere up with you, O oh God, and fill, you, fill me up with you, O oh Father. Father, just have your way in this message, O oh God. We ask you to open the people ear gates right now, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Move in a mighty way today, O oh God. And I thank you, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. Glory to God, glory to God. Today has been a great day, a great day. Um, we're going to get right into the word. <clears throat> uh, today's word is coming from Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 through 10. Again, it's Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 through 10. And it reads as follows. When they heard the king, they departed and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. Again, that's Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. Today's message is entitled, The Picture in a Picture, Part 2, The Star. Again, it's picture in a picture, part two, the star. So last week I talked about a picture in a picture, and it came out of Genesis verse, chapter 1, verse 27. And the verse was, so God created man in his own image, and the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. So back I was talking about how we all are created in God's image. We're actually one. We're being unified. And I want you to realize how you can see God in you. And today, I want to basically expand on the picture in a picture, the star. <clears throat> DNA is, is a self-replicating material that is present in nearly all living organisms as the main constituent of chromosomes. It is the carrier of genetic information, the fundamental and distinctive characteristics or qualities of someone or something, especially when regarded as unchangeable. Today is December 24th, Christmas Eve. Today is my grandfather, his birthday, his heavenly birthday. He's no longer here with us, but we celebrated him today by doing a, a Zoom call. And on the Zoom call, we talked about how, um, what memories we had of our grandfather. We talked about memories and characteristics that he had. And some of the characteristics that people were saying was basically he, he had a great smile. Um, he loved to cook. Um, he loved cars. And he always was happy-go-lucky. He always had that jolly, positive attitude. You never saw him raise his voice. And I'm just saying this because we all have characteristics of our fathers or of our mothers. 
you know, whether it's a physical characteristics, because I know in my family, the Browder family, all of us have this nose. It's, it's something about our nose that all of us have. And we all have some type of characteristics about our father. I mean, from our father or from our parents, whether it's physical or it's something you might do that they do. You know, you might smile like them. You might talk like them. But it's something that's very distinct that you have in your DNA from your father. It's, it's, it reminds me of a picture in a picture. So as we examine in this text at hand today, we're going to show, I'm going to show you how some characteristics that you may see that you have from your father. As we look at the gospel written by Matthew, meaning Matthew means the gift of the Lord, the tax collector, whose audience was predominantly Jews. Matthew's main focus was setting forth that Jesus is the Messiah, the king of the Jews. Matthew presented Jesus as king, but a king of a totally different kingdom. It was the kingdom of heaven. So when he was presenting him as the kingdom of heaven, and as we look on the scene of what's going on now in this particular verse, Jesus has been born, and um, <clears throat> they're in Bethlehem. And the wise men are looking for Jesus because King Herod wants to kill them, kill him. So when the wise men got to Bethlehem, they saw a star. And when they saw the star, they knew that that's where Jesus was. So when they got over to the star, that's where Jesus was. So when they found Jesus, and this is where we are in the text. It says, when they heard the king, they departed and behold the star which they had seen in the east before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. If you don't remember nothing else I say, God is simply trying to say, it is time to birth the star in you. Again, it is time to birth the star in you. I'm going to explain three ways of how you can know that it's a star in you. The first way is, <clears throat> right here, it's in the text, verse 9. It says, when, when they heard the king, they departed, and behold, right there, the people, you will have people trying to attack you. See, when you have something great in you, you wonder why people are always trying to come up against you. They're trying to simply knock you off your path. They're simply trying to distract you. And you have to be able to handle that. You don't want to overreact or anything like that. You want to just basically main, remain calm and know that, hey, God is on my side. This battle is not for me. Because you have the power in you and you don't realize what's in you. I am here today to tell you what's in you. And it is simply a star. You are a star. You are some type of celebrity. You are made for greatness because of your father's DNA. It's simply because you have the picture in a picture. He's saying we're all created like his image. That means we have, he gave us all certain powers. He gave us all certain gifts. And I'm here to tell you that gift that's in you, it's time to birth it. It is time to birth the gift that is in you. It's time for you to find your purpose. It's time for you to get to your destiny. It's time to unlock it. See, he gave all of us gifts. And it's simply, we can make room. Our gift makes room for us. But you have to first to discover that. And here, <clears throat> we notice that <clears throat> the wise men saw a star. The star was so bright, they knew where to go. The same thing in you. 
people will try to attack you to get you off your destiny path. That way you have to remain focused. You have to remain focused. You have to maintain a relationship with our Lord and Savior. That way you can stay grounded in the Word. That way you're well rooted. If anything comes against you, you know what to shout out. If you need to command that spirit to come out, you command that spirit to come out. If you might be feeling so down that day, when you know, you just simply say, hey, the Lord said he would never leave me nor forsake me. Don't let your heart be troubled. There's certain key trigger words that you can say to yourself that will trigger your gift, that will start to rise up in you whenever you feel like somebody is trying to attack you because people are going to attack you because there's something great in you. Which brings me to my next point. People will see you before your time. The wise men saw the star before they saw Jesus. So I remember... I remember when me and my wife, we was in transition and we was out in Culpeper and we had went to this, um, I had went to this revival with one of my mentors. And, um, and when I went to the revival, after the revival, the service was over and this guy runs up to me and he said, you are going to be great. I can't wait to hear you. And I just, I just cried. I mean, because I felt the glory of the Lord. At that moment, it was so heavy. But he saw me before my time. When somebody's going to see you before your time. And just embrace it. And get ready. That means you're headed in the right direction. It's going to be something shining so bright over you. That people are going to see it. You may not see it. You may not even believe it. But God is going to send people just to confirm what's already placed in you. And when he does, it's going to be time to break wide open. To break wide open. Because as the, the wise men saw the bright and shining star, I see it in you. And that's why God has sent me today. He has sent me to tell you that there is something deep inside of you. There's a star in every picture in a picture. And that is you. There's a star in you. I know you're probably wondering, like right now, <clears throat> you're probably feeling down and you probably could be out of a job or your job is not working right for you and you're just not happy in that job. It's because you're not doing what you're called to do. You're not operating in your gift. You're not allowing what God has placed in you. He has already birthed you with it, but it's time for you to birth it. It's time for you to rise up and get up out of that situation. Get up out of that job and do what you was called to do. I know this is Christmas time and we're celebrating the birth of Jesus. And I'm here to tell you, it's also another birth that needs to be celebrated. And that's in you. That's your gift. It is time to birth your gift. You might not realize what your gift is. What is it that you love to do? What makes you happy when you do it? No matter what. Look. You have to figure out what your niche is. Pray to God and ask him if you don't really know. But I'm pretty sure you have an idea. It's something that you love to do. And when you love to do it, you realize that you are really great at that thing. But I know, I know, it might be people around you that will distract you from what's really going on and you you when you get distracted then you lose focus and then when you lose focus you lose the focus of the picture in the picture and i'm here to tell you it's time to get back on track because when you allow them people to distract you they will be the same people that will follow you and that's my third point people will follow you that's how you know you got something going on great 
When the people start to follow you and you don't even realize why people are following you, why people want to be attached to you, why are people always coming up to talk to you? That's because it is a star in you. They see something in you. You attract them to you. And it's a part of your gift. Whatever it is, it is time for you to birth that gift. As we look, it says, when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. Because when the people start to follow you, and they see that anointing on you, they see the glory of God, they see the hand upon you, they will follow you. And it'll be time for you to minister to them. So that you can build the kingdom. You can set them free. You can deliver them. You can minister them and help them whatever situation they might be in. Because you were called to the kingdom of God. You have that gift in you. And it's time for you to rise. It's time for you to rise to the occasion. And I know that this is Christmas Eve and tomorrow's Christmas. But I'm here to tell you God is saying that it's time. It's time for you to open your gift that God has gave you. It's time for you to birth that gift. And I know that we're talking about the picture in the picture. But do you really understand what I'm saying? That it's time for you to walk in your gift. It's time for you to get ready to be great. I'll give you an example. Uh, when I was growing up, I used to always love to eat Cracker Jacks. You know what Cracker Jacks are. Cracker Jacks is the caramel, caramel popcorn, and um, it's always a prize in the box. Now, you have to sort through the popcorn to get the prize sometime if, if you, you know, want to get the prize first. But... When you sort through the popcorn, it's like you sorting through your life situations, your life circumstances. And you, you have to realize that <clears throat> in order to get to that prize, there are some things you're going to have to go through. In order for you to recognize what's in you, to, for God to pull it out of you, there are some things you will have to go through. There are some people that will attack you. There are some people that will see you before your time. There are some people that will follow you. But when through all of this process, you will get the prize. You will get the glory that will fall upon you. You will have establish that anointing. You will get the prize. Just like when I finished eating them Cracker Jacks, I found the prize. I was so happy. I was a little kid growing up. I was so happy to get that little toy, the prize. And, and it's just really exciting. And when, let me tell you something, people. When you start operating in your gift and your call and whatever it is that's, that, 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 that brings that star out of you, you will see the joy just like when the wise men saw Jesus. Just like when they found him. Just like when they saw the star. They was exceeded over joy. And I'm telling you, I am so excited for this season that's about to take place because I know it's going to about to be a birthing on this Day. It's about to be a birthing like no other. People are going to run to God when the churches are start to open. People are going to realize what their gifts are. And I tell you, when you wake up tomorrow morning, open that gift. Open the gift. It is time for you to open the gift. Man. <clears throat> and I'm here to tell you, the gift is yours. Stardom is your star, and it's time, and the light is so bright. As we celebrate our Lord and Savior's birthday, let's also celebrate the birthing of your gift, whatever it might be. But hey, maybe you don't know Jesus, and maybe you want to have that relationship with him. The doors of the church are open. The doors of the church are open.
There are people standing by right now. Just email us at firstchurchofsocialmedia at gmail.com. There are people waiting for you right now. It's time. It is time for us to birth that star. To birth your gift. Whatever it is that you are called to do, it is time. As we go into this new year, 2021, through all that we've been through in 2020, and whatever you've been through before 2020, it was all for your purpose. It was all you going through the labor pains. And now you're in the delivery room. And now it's time. It is time, people. And maybe, maybe you have big backslap. Maybe you once had that relationship with God. I'm here to tell you, there's people, there's people why, by waiting for you right now. Email us at firstchurchofsocialmedia at gmail.com. Maybe you'd like to be a part of this ministry. Again, you can email us at firstchurchofsocialmedia at gmail.com. And maybe you want to sow a seed. We have two ways you can sow a seed. You can sow a seed first by uh, Cash App. It's dollar sign F-C-O-S-M. Again, that's Cash App. Dollar sign F-C-O-S-M. And the second way is you can simply text. That's right. Text the word give. G-I-V-E. The number two. F-C-S-M. You text all of that to 77977. Again, you can simply text the word give. G-I-V-E. The number two. F-C-S-M. Text that to 77977. Again, it's time for you to open your box tomorrow. Open that gift tomorrow and know that you are a star. Again, this is First Church of Social Media, and I am Pastor Wilma Brother. I hope you all have a merry, merry Christmas. And let's do this. Let's do this. God bless you all. We love you all.